Hello and welcome to my Thancred saga. Why Thancred, you ask? Because I rage pulled him, I blew him, I gave him all the best fears, and now I'm just doing this because now I need to use him. So, we're starting with 8 Lufenia. I have Rem to give Thancred more turns, and I have Orin to deal with the orb, because sadly I can't even rush it down with this. 2 out of 3 C90 team. Now, if you're probably watching this video, you probably do not need me to tell you that Thancred is in fact bad, but we're going to use him anyway. Let's just get a bit of delay. One of the other benefits of Auron is that he will give us some melee weak damage. Okay, Thancred. So I like to use the C65 free skill. I'm going to use Royal Shock. Very good. Okay, so Thancred has two buffs. He has his overhead Ninki, and he also has a, another buff called a wish within a name. It starts at five stacks if you have him fully maxed out, and it allows you to use a skill called Trick Attack. When you use Trick Attack, it will go down all the way back to one stack. And then you have to build it up again. The nice thing about this is that, actually it's not nice, but the one way that you build it straight back up to five is you use the LD. You use the LD, it goes back up to 5, and you can do Trick Attack again. Now with a character like Rem, swap turns, rinse, repeat. Now the Ninky overhead buff, which is that scroll above his head, in order to get that up you need to use either his S1 or his S2. The goal really is to try and get that overhead buff to 3, because then that gives access to his X plus version. So instead of Bava Kakra being just standard, it'll have a plus, which gives it an extra HP dump, I believe. So let's just do Trick Attack again. And then we're going to start upping the overhead buff. S2 ups it by 2, and S1 ups it by 1. So let's just bring Thancred in again. And then we're probably going to give the enemy a turn purely to deal with the orb. So you see that his X is not the plus version, because I've only got 2 overhead. So let's just use his S1 to up that to 3, and that will also up his wish within a name to three, because that also goes up with each turn he takes. All right, Oren, time to do your job. And whatever, it doesn't matter. She still has her buffs up, so we can do another swap. Okay, so I was wrong. The S1 does up it by 2. So now you can see the X is the plus version, and now we're going to get 4 HP dumps as opposed to 3. swap again. Why not? Okay, I am one stack away from the trick attack, so let's just do Shadow Fang. They can get two turns and we can move on with our lives. I'm 
I'm sure those who have played Auron before don't need me to tell you, but in order to stop him from not being hit, just make sure that you've got that Ramza and Shiva evasion buffs off. I have made that mistake before. Okay, let's cure to get that Devoted Heart buff up. And let's do Point Blank Sphere to get the Absorb Magic buff up. LD, just because. Okay, now we can use our trick attack, but I see we've got a free skill, so let's use that. Use the C65. So the C65 will give us that extra bravery damage and give the enemies poison. And we can go straight into the LD again, because why not? And let's give Thancred some more Limelight. And with his Trick Attack and another LD, we should be more than enough to finish off this Lufenia. Yeah, so we can do Trick Attack and we can even do his X if this doesn't kill him. Nope. Alright, so that is part one of the Thancred Saga. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one.